Rolling roadblocks in northwest Washington as dozens of protesters filled the streets in the district for yet another night. They're protesting the deaths of Michael Brown and Eric Garner, both African-American men who were unarmed when they were killed by white police officers. Ross Platham, live in northwest right now to tell us about what's happening. Ross, what's the scene tonight? Well, right at this moment, Leon, the protesters have, have just wrapped up their operation for the evening. They began about 5 o'clock tonight with a small group at the White House. As they walked through the streets of D.C., that number grew. We saw people getting off the metro, people getting off from work, people coming in from the suburbs to join them. This movement now shows no sign of slowing down. More than 100 protesters took to the streets demanding justice in the name of Eric Garner, the New York man who died in a chokehold at the hands of police. They marched to major intersections, shut them down, backing up traffic and frustrating commuters. Yeah, I came up from the other direction. I saw them and I was in the wrong lane and just ended up here. Bad luck. I understand they have things to say. I just wish we wouldn't be caught in the middle of that. Dozens of D.C. police officers tried to stay a step ahead of the protesters, using rolling barricades to close off streets for safety. Back it up. We'll get you out on the outside of the circle. And they tried to keep rush hour traffic moving. The crowd seemed to grow along the route. Even in bitter cold temperatures, parents pushed their kids in strollers, determined to have their voices heard. They're definitely getting attention, but... Where that'll go, who knows? I don't think that they're they're wrong, and I think that there really is a a, a reason for people to be angry and, and frustrated. But I don't think these, this is the right tactic. Well, according to their social media, this seems to be these disruptions seem to be the tactic for now. We're live in Chinatown on Ross Plater, ABC Seven News. Thank you, Ross.